welcome to Abra Knowledge channel. Uh, today in ninth lesson of Lean Six Sigma, we will be discussing about very interesting topic called quality function deployment. So in this uh, video, we you will we will be covering up uh, what is QFT and uh, how does it operate? What are the element does it have? And uh, what is the methodology it uses? What is the stages of QFT? And uh, also, I have QFT template also as well. So why do we need a QFT? QF, QFT is a very powerful tool to design a process are a product according to customer requirement so all the customer requirement whatever the customer requirement you have you can just jerk it down and uh, we can present in very nice structure and who developed it is developed by Japan by UG Echo in late 1960s so what it focus it focus uh, methodology carefully listening to the customer customer uh, you know voice of the customer uh, you call it as a voice of VOC uh, collect the information and uh, structure down in the document and what is the application of QFT QFT uh, you know can be deployed in quality improvements or quality management system and basically it emerged from military uh, needs or the consumer product or anything you can use QFT so for more information uh, please visit to this uh, website uh, you will get uh, more information about it I picked up the reference from asq.org. Let's go to the definition of QFT. QFT is basically a planning process with the quality approach to whether it is a new product or a deployment, I mean new product design, deployment and implementation driven by customer needs and values. So you can cover like from the end to end, uh, from the start to end, you can just uh, uh, you know document everything the need of the customer in this QFT so QFT has been successfully used by many world organization world-class organization uh, such as widely has been used in automobile shape buildings electronic aerospace utility leashes and all that it can be used what are the elements it has got maybe uh, when I mull over on the template, I will be explaining more about it. But uh, basically, it has got like what are the requirement of the customer, how their uh, requirements are met, and what is the relation between the requirement, and how does the different functions operate, and how does the different functions coordinate, and so on. So this is uh, the methodology it uses actually. Like it also. Uh, call it as uh, you know seven management and planning tools to identify and priority the customer expectation uh, quickly and effectively and it also called as house of quality uh, that means uh, everything you can have in very nice structure and it also uses uh, something called very interesting concept in the lean methodology is called Cano model Cano model meaning like uh, what is the wow factor, what is a wants and what is a must, what is must to have, what is good to have, what you know take for granted, what customer will not accept and all that. So this is something Cano model. Maybe in separately I will be discussing more about the Cano model. But just to give you gist, gist of uh, Cano model is, it's basically an approach where to know the customer uh, you know feelings whether what is the wow factor and what what the customer wants and uh, what he will not compromise and so on so this is the uh, structure it will look like what is the re relationship matrix and the voice of customer whatever the you know, requirement you have you can just uh, you know put it down here and then you can set the priority with the low medium comp uh, high and then you can say the relationship how does uh, your functions within the organization operate and what is the competitive value you will get and what is the interaction metric you will get and you can also give uh, you know importance rating technical difficulties and the risk management everything can build so this is the uh, you know uh, methodology it uses actually it's if you have a design requirement the customer requirement that means the design requirement that design requirement changes to uh, engineering and design and then the product gets uh, built 
and manufacturing uh, purchasing and operations and then product quality control so the end flow uh, the end to end flow you can have it uh, in the methodology it also called waterfall relationship meaning like from end start to end so this is the four stages of uh, qft one is called product planning the other one is called product plan uh, design and process design and process control let's talk about the product planning in the product planning uh, you know it's all about uh, this is basically led by marketing team that means uh, they can also uh, you know consider the various factors such as wa warranty data who are the competitors what is the target values for the measurable one what difficulty they will have what is the cost of uh, meeting the needs and and achieving the target value and so on so the next stage is the product design project product design is uh, usually led by design department uh, basically it has that you uh, know what is good to have and what is must to have uh, that means good to have meaning like in which are all the ways this product when you develop uh, de example let's take an example you are uh, making a mobile charger uh, and what are the best cases it will give it will give a uh, good output it can give uh, good reliability it can give uh, you know long durability and all that actually what is the worst thing it can give it can be burned out it can be the circuit can be sh uh, short circuit can happen and all that so in both the things we need to study uh, well and this is something all the risk we need to and the mitigation plan we need to put in place that is product design and then process design is similar to an fmea what are the steps you have what are the activities you have and how uh, these activities uh, can have a risk and how it can be mitigated process control uh, is mainly dwelled by quality department and the production uh, lead uh, this is meaning like you can have a checklist in place and how uh, how to make it what is a okay part or you can make the criteria and so on so this is the overall template it looks like so as i said before like you know what are the technical i mean what are the requirement you have you can put it down you can also put the priority what is must to have very important and uh, you know the customer will not accept it if you are uh, delaying it so importance uh, rating goes like priority into relationship and this is the two factor and also you these are all the sign it has got like uh, you know if you say positive that means strong positive and if you say without circle if you have it is positive just a positive negative strong negative and negative so the idea is uh, you know whatever the negatives you have uh, we need to convert those negatives to positive and strong positive that means uh, we are improving upon so the relationship is uh, the, you know if you have a strongest that means uh, it's a 10 and uh, you know anything beyond uh, 7 and above it is considered to be strong fair is a medium point 4 and weak is uh, less than 4 is considered to be weak so thank you so much if you have any questions further questions please do uh, comment and uh, please do like and share my uh, channel have a nice day ahead